women's match, the six woman t- tag match that we are extremely excited for because we have a lot to talk about this one. Um, it was, uh, it started off awesome because, you know, Maki Ito, which we, we're so hit or miss with her entrances. And then all of a sudden you have Thunder Rosa and Sheeta and Rio come out and just throwing bows, kind of trying to shut her up. But she just kept going on and on and on, even without her music, which was kind of, it was just comical. But I was like, yes, thank you. They came out. And they're shutting them up, and they're coming out with a vengeance. And <laughs> <laughs> I love that part of it. Um, you know, they are the baby face saviors for sure. And you can jump tell. Into like, what, jump into what really makes you excited about. Yeah, this match. I mean, well, first off, I mean, hands down, Thunder Rosa was the star of this match. She looked absolutely the best in the ring by far. You know, she threw a Cancun tornado DDT from the top rope onto everyone, which we have not seen yet. And that was phenomenal. You know, the announcers were doing a great job just saying how strong and how great she is because I mean, the the truth, the truth is the truth for that as well. You know, the unfortunate thing is we saw some of the best wrestling in the picture in picture. I'm so sick of AEW putting picture in picture in the women's matches, you know, you have to put it somewhere, I guess, but it just like give the people what they want and not and not put it in there because you saw uh, the, the DMD working on Thunder and then you had uh, a sp- awesome clearing the house by Rio Mizunami. You know, she was throwing those clotheslines and a huge spear she threw. And then that was probably like her highlight of the the match on that part. But, you know, as soon as you can tell a difference with the showboating by Maki Ito and Rio, you know, they're doing that and they're, you know, they're not really throwing fists as much. And then all of a sudden you, you tag in Nyla Rose and you tag in Thunder Rosa. And then, then, then shit gets the real. Yeah. <laughs> the intensity got it's real for real, sure. Yeah. And it was physical. And that just, we absolutely loved um, the Nyla Thunder match in the tournament. And when they got back in the ring and then finally the DMD and Thunder, you know, uh, were in the, sharing the ring together. And it, it was very fitting for Thunder to take the pin or, you know, to get the victory. And then just to really put the fuel on the fire, like we've been talking week in, month out, week in and week out, how this is a main event feud. And they're finally, finally, finally getting the the credit they deserve uh, next week. And we're going to be promoting it all week. We got to go back and watch some of our other shows and get clips of us talking about how we wanted this for main event. You know, back in January when we talked to Thunder. We were preaching that this was a main event feud. And look, we're in March, March 17th, you know, St. Patty's Day, my (laughs) national holiday. We're going to get the main event. (laughs) We're going to get the main event that we've been waiting for that they deserve. And between two of the core stars of the women's division. Oh, gosh, man. And and you did. I mean, you touched on a lot. I thought that like, um, you know, the the picture in picture thing that that was that was hard at first because it was the first time we really got to see Brit and Thunder get at each other again. Right. Mm -hmm. And like Brit was working on Thunder throughout that throughout that picture in picture just working on her bro just working on her and then tags in nyla and and thunder gets that fire up all during the picture in picture and i'm like ah but they i gave, know they gave, it, they gave us a little bit more of the thunder and brit later on in that match um really 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 think that those two i don't know man i mean everybody's got their different favorites right but right um I always get a little self conscious when you like you are the Thunder fanboy and I am the Brit <laughs> fanboy. I don't want to step on either of their toes. I think that both of these women are absolutely incredible, and that's why that's why we are so mm-hmm. such, such vocal advocates because you and I can genuinely, as friends mm-hmm. and as as leaders of this Dynamite Download movement that we're trying to create, mm-hmm. we can say it with authenticity. Britt Baker is one of my absolute favorite wrestlers in the whole world. Yep. And, Thund- and Thunder Rosa is one of your absolute favorite wrestlers in the whole world. And there's, right. it doesn't matter about gender. It doesn't matter about their skill, like their, their experience level. It, it, none of it. They, they are, they are executing everything they need to execute on a perfect level. When you talk yep. about a, an underdog, scrappy baby face who has the offense, the entrance, the look, everything you could want. It, a, an amazing person to her fans, yep. great in the community, everything you could want. Thunder, Thunder checks every single box, and so it's so easy to put her and elevate her as the baby face and the person that we as fans want to get behind. And then you pit her against Brit, who again, <laughs> man, like t- talks trash, well, is willing to step on you after a match is over. Oh Has, my gosh, like, that, that was brutal. That, that visual of that beatdown afterwards 
with with Vicky Guerrero like smacking Thunder on the butt and like and 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 re Rebel pushing the the crutch into Thunder Rosa's Thunder Rosa's face. Everything about that that whole segment had me going, bro. They, yeah. they, they, this is a perfect like visual. Britt cheap shot after the match after they lost just getting her getting her her licks in right making sure that that thunder <laughs> no matter anytime that thunder seems to have a moment brit is there to douse water on her and try to like try to ruin that moment for her and i think that this is a perfect build i cannot wait for this main event you and i have been i really do again like i know we're not alone and i'm so yeah. glad to see it out there in social media i'm so glad to see people are pushing for this yeah, to get the spotlight it deserves, bro. Uh, un, this is gonna be an all anything goes match between Britt yeah. Baker and Thunder. I cannot wait, dude. The, you know, with Thunder too, like she's gonna bring it, dude. She's gonna she's gonna push Britt to get creative and try to sneak do some sneaky stuff. I can't wait to see all the tricks that Britt has up her sleeve because she's gonna need them. Because Thunder's gonna like, especially after what we just saw, she's gonna want her get her hands on her so bad. Yes. I, I really am geeked about where this is going. <laughs> um, you know, it, it wasn't it wasn't just about Brit and Thunder. Obviously, we here at Dynamite Download, and because we're such big advocates of theirs, we really, really love seeing how AEW played this, like, and how they're playing that feud. Mm -hmm. Um, but let's give credit before we transition to the next one. Let's give credit um, where credit's due. There, the other component, the other uh, competitors in this match, Maki Ito finally kind of, kind of had her moment to shine. I, I did think that it was kind of funny to see her singing and like with the headphones in and just totally oblivious. Yep. While, while there was pure chaos going on, um, I enjoyed that. I thought that um, again. I, I think that. Rio and Cheetah, they they kind of bring a little bit more of that strong style. Um, their their strikes are definitely on point, and they were at they were much needed in this match. All around, really enjoyed this match, no doubt about it. It was an elite from me, SPD. Oh, hands down, elite for sure. I mean, how could you argue this? I mean, even though, like you said, the focus was on ultimately Brit and Thunder, um, everyone showed well and. It's it just a testament to the depth and the, the growth of the women's division for sure. Um.